take you to Kiliki County, the latest beneficiary of treated mosquito nets distributed by the Kenya Medical Supplies Authority under the National Malaria Control Program. This initiative, facilitated by the Global Fund and the President's Malaria Initiative, aims to combat malaria, one of the Kenya's leading causes of morbidity and mortality. Let's take a closer look. In a significant boost to public health, Kilifi County has received over 1 million treated mosquito nets. This distribution is part of a broader program to deliver 10.9 million nets across 18 counties. KEMSA CEO Dr. Andrew Mulua and Kilifi Governor Gideon Mungaro flagged off over 1 million treated mosquito nets. Kilifi is the 12th county to benefit from this initiative since its inception in November 2023. Uh, Karibuni, today we are here with the CEO uh, Kemsa, uh, Banamulu and the directors from uh, the Kenya Medical uh, Supplies uh, Agency. Yeah. Uh, to launch a program uh, called the, the Last Mile on uh, on mosquito nets and uh, the CEO and our team in the county will be distributing. They have started, the, they started on the first and today they will continue. They will be distributing in 600, uh, uh, six, 670 sites in Kilifi, a total of 1 million and 54 nets to the communities. So almost every household will get some three nets or so this program is a testament to CAMS capacity for detailed planning, logistical execution, and the successful navigation of complex challenges, reflecting its dedication to public health and welfare. The nets are sourced from CAMSA depot where they're meticulously arranged with proper record keeping and tight security. We have worked together with your county health management team to map all the households that we are distributing. We have worked with your teams to map uh, the 670 uh, distribution posts. And uh, we actually have uh, numbers to say, in this post, in this health center, in this school, in this chief's camp, we need to deliver 50, 100 nets. Uh, and this is courtesy of uh, what we have done with you. We have digitized uh, this program. We have what we call the Digimall. App, which we have used to map households and to map uh, centers where we are distributing. And therefore, we can be able, uh, Your Excellency, to account for every net uh, that uh, we have received. KEMSA CEO Dr. Andrew Mulua led his team in the last mile distribution in Bundacho Village in Kilifi County in partnership with the county government that is spearheading the distribution of these life-saving nets to fight malaria. The KEMSA CEO led staff in distributing mosquito nets to families in Bundacho village, one of the 679 distribution posts in Kilifi's seven sub-counties. Locals said they are most affected by malaria during the rainy season and the treated mosquito nets distributed by KEMSA will go a long way in protecting them. Malaria huwa inaumisa sana watu kwa sababu hakuna hatuko na neti mazingira yetu hayako sawa. Katika upande wa malaria tunaona malaria huku kwetu imeathiri sana. Wa mama sana wajawazito wanashukuru kwa sababu huwa wanapata hizo neti kupitia health centers. Na hawa wengine ambao sasa hawapiti katika sehemu hizo huwa wanaathirika kwa sababu hawana uwezo wa kununua kujinunulia huku kwetu katika health centers zetu dawa za malaria zinaenda chini. Kwa hivyo tunaona tunaumia sana kwa sababu ya upande huo wa malaria maana umbo wako wengi wanatuuma na tunaathirika. Malaria it's a killer disease itself because once it is not diagnosed early, patients do not present themselves to the facilities 
then they will not report to work. They will have to take some, some days off until they recover. For the school going children, they will not be able to attend their schools. So, but in terms of impact, it has really improved the livelihood because we have been having a healthy population because they are not suffering from malaria. So the trends has been actually been, we have been receiving out of 10, around four or five, we diagnose them with malaria. So that is the trend. The prevalence has been quite high. Six more counties, including Kirinyaga, Baringo, Turkana, West Pokot, Narok, and Transoya, will receive the nets before the end of August. So Kemsa is, in other words, doing last mile distribution. For example, here in Kilifi alone, we have 679 uh, distribution uh, posts like this one. And uh, we have made sure the nets get to the posts so that when the communities are given a day to come and collect and they get this through SMS, through their local administration, the chiefs, uh, village elders, and we have, like you have seen, we have been accompanied by the village elder for this village so that uh, the communities can come and get the nets. So that is the exercise that Kemsa is doing. And whenever there are nets that for one reason or the other have not been picked because we have to account for every net, we also uh, are doing reverse logistics. Uh, the nets that remain uh, in every post, we are able to consolidate them and uh, take back them to our warehouses. Uh, for this region, we are operating with the Mombasa warehouse uh, and we have also identified other warehouses where Kemsa's presence is not ready. So for this exercise, it is important uh, because uh, it is uh, it's going to directly have an impact on the uh, preference of malaria in the country and is one of the key intervention areas that the ministry has uh, adopted, uh, among others, including the uh, vaccination uh, against malaria, which we rolled out uh, uh, two years ago and uh, went to scale. We rolled a pilot two years ago and have gone to, gone to scale uh, from uh, last year. Capital FM visited Maria Kani Sub-County Hospital where we spoke to Lina Katama, a mother of a three-year-old child recovering from cerebral malaria. Despite numerous control efforts, malaria remains a significant public health challenge in Kenya. The disease imposes substantial economic burdens and threatens the country's progress towards achieving its sustainable development goals. Experts say malaria transmission and infection risk are closely tied to factors such as altitude, temperature, and rainfall patterns. To address these varied risks, Kenya is divided into five malaria epidemiological zones, coastal endemic, lake endemic, seasonal malaria transmission, malaria epidemic prone areas of the western highlands, and low risk malaria areas. <laughs> With continued efforts and community support initiatives like this, they do promise a healthier future for Kilifi County and beyond. This is a significant step in the fight against malaria.